how to become an event planner. That's what we're talking about today. Hey event planners, I'm Chelsea from eventplanning.com. Today I want to talk to you about how to become an event planner, but before we can even dive into anything, we have to talk about what type of events you want to plan. There's two types. You can either plan social or corporate events. So for social, we're talking about weddings and birthdays and bar mitzvahs and reunions. Any kind of social party like that will fall into the social planning. There's two avenues to go down for social planning. The first is starting your own company, which is great because it gives you so much flexibility. It's not your typical nine to five job. But it also can be a little bit more stressful and there's a lot that goes into it on your side to help build your client base. So I've talked about this in some other videos and there's plenty of links to it on eventplanning.com but what you're going to need to start your own company is you're going to have a nice image for your company, so a really professional appearance. That's a good website, business cards, and building clientele first with your friends and family and then reaching out through social media and Craigslist and local newspapers and volunteering. So this is kind of a bigger entity. It's Definitely, you have to put a lot of work into it in the beginning and spend a lot of time on marketing and building your brand and keep consistently booking clients and moving up the ladder. The second option for social planning is to work for an events planning company. So maybe this is an experiential marketing company or they just focus on event planning like a wedding event planning company. This is how I actually got my start and I do really recommend this because you get a mentor and usually you get a mentor in the program. So you can have somebody that you can really learn from that will take you under their wing and teach you the ropes of event planning. In this atmosphere, there's less questioning what to do next or how to build clients or how to find clients, but it is a nine to five type opportunity with not as much flexibility. So this will be more of a typical job, but you'll still be working in the event planning space, planning social events. The other type of event planning is corporate. So maybe this is corporate retreats or planning meetings or doing something like awards or trade shows, anything in the corporate environment. The best place to find a corporate job is to work for a non-event planning company. So any medium to large size corporation is usually gonna have an event planning position at their company. This person's gonna take care of all the events for the company, which can be numerous, so you can stay really busy with this. This is gonna be a nine to five job and is going to feel a lot like working for an event planning company, but it's going to just be focused on the corporate side of the events. These two are really similar. What they really have in common is that you're gonna need a strong resume. So one thing that can help your resume feel strong is education. A four-year degree in event planning or hospitality is great. This will definitely set you apart and help you get your foot in the door, but it's not necessary. Having online courses or certifications are also a great opportunity to build your resume and have it look really nice to land one of these jobs. Of course, what's extra important and always a great leg up is experience references, working in an industry, and whether that's just volunteering or working for your favorite charity and always being on the event side, or it's planning events for your friends and family, whatever your experience is that's relatable to these two jobs, that's gonna help make your resume be really powerful and help you land one of these jobs in a corporate environment. Another job that kind of spans both of these and could work for both is if you worked for a hotel or a restaurant or some kind of hospitality type company that is always planning events. So basically you'd be an in-house event planner and be working on different events with different clients, but it would still have that kind of feeling where you'd be, it'd be a more nine to five steady job. Uh, the clients would be coming to you and you'd be handling their events. So you could be booking corporate events or social events. It kind of goes between the two. Again, what you need is a strong resume loaded with experience or education. Having both is the best of both worlds, of course. So that's how you become an event planner. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like our YouTube channel and check out more information on www.eventplanning.com.